Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the Ticklebot series. This will probably be the final part of the series in terms of getting the robot working to get both hands. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. I'll have the link down below. You can, we're not gonna go over the assembly of the robot again. I'm not gonna repeat it. We're just gonna go over the wiring to get the second hand to move. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this video, you will need some extra materials that we did not use last time. Uh, of course, you'll need the second servo for the second arm. You'll need a breadboard. So a breadboard is really good for prototyping your projects. Uh, you will use these different terminals to plug in your wires and connect the power and servo motors. So we'll use this and I'll show you how this works later on in the video. That's right there. You'll also need uh, something like this. This is a battery pack that has two open-ended wires on each side. So you'll need something like this. Make sure that the one you have takes more than two batteries. So right now we have four batteries, which gives us a total of nine volts that we need. There are some that you can get like this that have two batteries, but these are not nine volts, so these will not work. Do not get one with two batteries. It can be AAA or AA, but just make sure it's four batteries. That's the only way we'll get this to work. And then of course you'll need a couple of more alligator clips. Uh, the color does not the color does not make a difference. So you can take any color just like the last time. And then you'll need some more of these guys right here, the mail to mail uh, pin clips, uh, pin wires, and then of course the micro pit. <clears throat> so now that we have all of our parts together, let's go ahead and get started on the assembly and the wiring. So let's go. All right, so there we go. We have both servos in. We have all the cables routed to where they have to go. And now we can close it up. And there we go. So we have the robot ready to go with both servos and both wires coming out of the back. So now let's go ahead and work on the breadboard wiring. So why do we need the breadboard and why do we need the battery pack? Well, the micro bit, as you can see, it puts out three volts. So if you look right there, it says three V, that stands for three volts. Now, each of these micro servos require 3.4 volts to operate. So even running one servo is putting a lot of strain on this on the micro bit, but it can still handle it. But if, imagine if you add a second servo, now it needs six volts and the micro bit only puts out three volts. So it's not able to put out power to it. So your servos will be really weak. So in order to help with that, we are going to take the power from this battery pack. And this battery pack is nine volts, so it's going to have more than enough power to get both of our servos moving. We won't be powering the micro bit with the battery pack, just the servo motors. The micro bit will still get power from, from the computer. And then to, in order to connect all this, we need this breadboard to connect everything together properly. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so here we have our wiring diagram. So we're going to start off with the 9-volt battery, and we're going to take the power, and we're going to put it on any one of those terminals. And we're going to do the same for the ground pins. <clears throat> so anywhere you want to, and then we can change the color of the power cable to... We can do red, so it's easier to understand. Now we're going to... So now we'll take the servo power and put it on that same row or column and then we'll do the same for the other servo. So it's getting power and then the ground wires will go to the ground column over there and we'll make those two cables black. One and two. And now we have it's a little confusing so I'll move the servo over a little bit and then I'll move the other one on the other side so now you can see where each cable is going and I'll rearrange this cable there so now you can see where each cable is going on the breadboard okay so and the last thing you'll need for the wiring is we'll need this ground pin right 
there coming from the micro bit is going to go to the ground column on the breadboard so we can finish off this and we can finish off this Okay, so now that we have the wires tidying out of the way, we can do our final test and see everything that's working. So we have the battery pack on. So all we have to do is uh, tickle the foot. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. It's moving both of his hands back and forth. If your hands aren't lined up, you can adjust that in the code with different angles. So it's behaving how it's supposed to, so that's great. So now this is the last part of the project, we're done. Uh, both of the hands are now moving, so great job. And if your robot is working, that's awesome. If you're having some trouble, then drop a comment down below and I'll try to fix anything that you may, any problem you may be having, I'll try to tell you how to fix it. So yeah, thanks for watching.